Hello, good people of God. I trust you are all doing well. I want to use this opportunity to welcome you all to the message where daily we load Christian content for seasoned men of God. Hi, dear. We want to build a community and a family with you. So if you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then like this message for us because we want to build a family together. Do want to always comment in the comment section and share this message abroad. I want you to share on your WhatsApp status. I want you to share on YouTube for us, even on Instagram and all social media platforms. I'll see you again. Be blessed as you listen to this message. Now, we are faith is faith is not needed in God giving. Faith is only needed in man receiving. <laughs> Stop blaming me for your failure to receive what I have provided. So faith is needed in man receiving what God, who is all generous, not for finding, has made available. Stay with me. <clears throat> Faith was required in the receiving. So the asking really is to receive. The asking is to receive. The asking is not to be given. The asking is to receive. To take delivery of what God has already provided. So faith in prayer deals with receiving. Jesus' discussion here is clear. It's like salvation. There's no faith required in God's saving. None of us believe God for Jesus to die. <laughs> None of us here. Oh, Father, we stand in faith that you will become a man and die for us. We were all, God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So no faith was required in God's saving. That's why salvation is a gift. You don't work for salvation. You don't earn salvation. You don't deserve salvation. Salvation is freely given by God on the basis of God's grace. On the basis. For by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Salvation is a gift. You just receive. He said, and when Samaria had received the word. He said to those guys in Ephesus, Acts chapter 19, have you received the Holy Ghost? Since you believe, received, received, received. So faith is only required to enable you to receive what God has provided. If I'm teaching good, can I have a living amen? amen. Now, <clears throat> let's see what we said about the will of God. The will of God. The will of God. <clears throat> if things happen in the earth because God wants it to happen, then everything on earth will be the will of God. Please, I need you now to reason. I need you to reason like somebody whose mind has been renewed. Because I'm going to say some heavy things that will form a basis for a number of things. So I need you to listen. If things happen in the earth because God wants it to happen, then everything in the earth will be the will of God. 
If God wants me to get a job, whether you like it or not, I will get it. If God wants me to marry you, even if you don't want, I will marry you. If God wants me to be rich, I'm going to be rich. What's going to be is going to be. What goes up must come down. What's going to be is going to be. And there's nothing we can do about it. So why are you praying? If there's nothing you can do about it, why don't you just sit down and let things happen? Why are you talking to people? Why are you trying to change what's going to be by applying for a job? Why did you go to school? Huh? Huh. If what's going to be is what's going to be, if God God wants is what will happen, then God is responsible for everything that happens on earth. And that will mean that God is not just. Because that will mean that God is responsible for sin and he has no morality to punish sin. I need you to listen carefully. Don't, don't think that it is God that determines how long we live on earth. So somebody dies. It is the way God wants. Stop that. You don't know God. Shut up. Let those of us who know God tell you about him. So every one of us, the day you were born, you came with your certificate of life. And God wrote their 30. Your own 45. Your own 99. Your own 350. You know, there, there are some people when they pass 100 years, they start crying. Father, why have you abandoned me? I should be dead. Please, death, come and carry me. God is not the one responsible for how long you live on earth. God is irresponsible with, you know, for how many years you stay on earth. God does not predetermine things. Please write that down. God does not predetermine things. And I will advise those of you that are really struggling with this part of what I'm teaching to order for my teaching Soteria Season 4. Soteria Season 4, where I took time for about 35 hours to exegetically deal with the will of God, purpose, predestination, election, foreknowledge, all those concepts. Because God really does not predetermine things. In fact, even the end of the age is determined by man. Even the end of the age is determined by man. Because once you say God predetermined things, it means all of us are robots. We are robots. So, we just function by programming. So, there's a programming on all of us. Since God predetermined things, that means really there's nothing we can do about it because we have been programmed. We just act according to the programming. Then that means we really don't have a will. We don't have a human will. That means we're all robots. The Bible never teaches that. And even in practical life, things don't happen like that. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 3. Pay attention now. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse number 3. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. Next verse. Who will have all men. Who, if your Bible was mine, I will underline will. Who will. That's the will of God. Who will have all men to be saved. The will of God is all men saved. And to come unto the knowledge of the truth. 
that is the will of God. He desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. So what is the will of God? The will of God expressly is the salvation of all men and for all men to come to the knowledge of the truth. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 9. Second Peter chapter 3 verse number 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness. But is long suffering to us word. Not willing. That's the will of God. Not willing that any should perish. But that all should come to repentance. So it's obvious that the will of God is for all to be saved. None should perish. But because God desires it, does it make it happen? Talk to me, church. Because God desires for all men to be saved, are all men saved? If the biggest thing on the heart of God which is the reason why God became a man, which is the reason why Jesus died and rose again, is to get all men to be saved, and yet all men are not saved, then it is not what God wants that happens. Then it is not what God wants that happens. God himself doesn't have what he wants. God himself, his will is expressly explained. He doesn't want anyone to perish. But do people perish? Yes. So God, with all he has done, became a man, died. Yet men perish. It means God himself doesn't want, doesn't have all the things that he wants. Now this takes away What's the will of God? Something like, when you pray, why didn't it happen? Because it is not the will of God. No. Don't blame your inability to receive the answers to your prayer on the will of God. You can't blame it on the will of God. No. No. Because God himself, he has told you his will, yet he himself has not yet received all his will. <laughs> Good teaching. Prayer is not praying the will of God. Write that down in capital letters. Prayer is not praying the will of God. That until I pray the will of God, it will not happen. No. But is the will of God involved in prayer? Yes. We will see where the will of God comes into play in prayer. We will see it in the course of this teaching. But don't forget, prayer is not praying the will of God. But is the will of God involved in prayer? Keep that somewhere. Because we need to explain that. First and foremost, God's will is to have all men to be saved. Number two, and to come to the knowledge of the truth. That is to come to repentance. How does it happen? How does this will of God happen? Man must want it. <laughs> Man must want it. Man must want what God wants for it to happen in his life. Man must want what God wants for it to happen in his life. Man must desire it and man must believe to receive it. Man must believe to receive it. We hope you've been blessed by this message. And as you've been blessed, we need to bless others by sharing this message abroad. If you're new here, 
can you don't leave without hitting on that subscribe button for us hit on that notification bell like and then comment in the comment section we'll see you again on the next one stay tuned